this is the best thing in the world right now. The train ride was chaotic. You can't even get out of the train station. There you can see Manarola. So beautiful. Hello everyone, greetings from Cinque Terre. We have arrived in Vernazza, which is the fourth village of the five Cinque Terre villages. And there's a lot of people here. <laughs> We are staying three nights in La Spezia, which is uh, a bigger like town close to the Cinque Terre villages. So yeah, we're gonna explore all the five Cinque Terre villages on our stay. I don't know if July is the best time to come to Cinque Terre. <laughs> oh god. We're trying to find the trail to Monte Rosso. Let's see. I think this is the way to Monte Rosso. At least that's what some people said. So hopefully we have arrived to the Monte Rosso trail. We're gonna try it <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> These are all wine terraces. So a lot of local wines are produced here. All right, that's where we're going. Very pretty views. At least this part of the path looks still a bit peaceful, but let's see, I think there's gonna be a lot of people here. <laughs> Apparently, it's forbidden to hike in sandals, which I have, but hopefully no one will sue me. <laughs> this trail is 3.5 kilometers and should take about one and a half hour to hike. <laughs> a lot of stairs. Crazy people hiking in this weather. <laughs> it's seriously 30 degrees Celsius, maybe hotter. It's humid. Quite a lot of tra this trail is without a fence, so just to, something to be aware of. A bridge made of stone. Yes, very good, Cine. <laughs> We, here is the uh, Monte Rosso Vernassa Trail Stone Bridge. I don't know what's special about it, but it was mentioned in the trail <laughs> description. <laughs> All right. We just had a small banana break and water break, and now we're continuing our trail. <laughs> a road to Monte Rosso. <laughs> Look at my feet. So dirty, luck. Well, in Monte Rosso we're going to the beach and swimming, so it's gonna be all right. <gasps> Look at this view. Yes, muitakin sandale. 
I have encountered other sandal wearers on this trail. So we came from over there and all the way here. It's so pretty. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> Yay, we can see Monte Rosso over there. Oh, yeah, that's the. This is the best thing in the world right now after a sweaty hike. We have now spent a few hours here at Monterosa Beach and it's like almost 8 p.m. and you can see that not so many people are here anymore but it's nice and the water is really warm this is Yusos how to dry your towel hack <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm. Hello everyone, it is our day two here in La Spezia and today we're exploring um, and today we are exploring the rest of the Cinque Terre villages but I'm gonna show you around our Airbnb. Here is Sini's bed, here is Ville's bed, here is mine and Yuso's bed, and and this is it. <laughs> it is small, here is the toilet and bathroom, and here is the lovely little patio where we just had breakfast. It's very small, but it is what it is. <laughs> It is what it is. Today we are exploring Corniglia, Rio Maggiore and Manarola. And we have to take the Cinque Terre express train to Corniglia. We have now arrived in Cornid Corniglia, Corniglia, which is the third of the five Cinque Terre villages and we're gonna walk around and then we're going to uh, Rio Maggiore and last today is Manarola. We 
we found a second viewpoint. This has much less people and the views are also good. Here you can also see the village of Corniglia. wandering around the streets of Corniglia and there's a lot of these kind of hidden streets. Ooh! I'm trying uh, basil gelato and also pistachio and the basil is really good. There is the train station. We took the bus up from Corniglia station to Corniglia center but we're taking the stairs down because it's a bit easier and now we're going to um, Rio Maggiore we're gonna try to find a beach to go swimming because it's hot and I'm sweating again and everybody else is too So we are waiting for the uh, Cinque Terre express train to uh, take the train to Rio Maggiore and it is cancelled and now we have to wait another 20 minutes so yeah I don't think the Italian trains really show that they are very reliable right now and it's very hot <laughs> the people on the other side are all beneath the, the roof so they get some shade <laughs> The Cinque Terre trains are like delayed or cancelled all the time. The train ride was chaotic. There's so many people here and everybody's trying to get on the trains that are actually going because so many trains are cancelled or delayed. It's crazy, so yeah, look at this. Oh my god. You can't even get out of the train station. We decided to skip Rio Maggiore because it's just too many people and too many cancelled or delayed trains and we have a wine tasting at 7.30 here in Manarola or nearby so yeah we just decided to not go to Rio Maggiore and now we're in Manarola but so are a lot of other people and we're trying to find a place to swim let's see and hope for the best Everybody in the house. Everybody in the house. <laughs> we have arrived to the wine tasting. This is the first wine with some bruschetta. 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 Yes. No, yeah. I've to say, I'm going to go to the mar because I'm going to go to the mar all day. There you can see Manarola and here is the vineyard.
Hello from France. We just arrived in Nice and we're gonna spend the next four days here in Nice in France.